Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm coming at you with another word problem. Let's take a look. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. She had so many children she didn't know what to do. There were the triplets who were 13, Billy who was 11, Tina, 8, the twins were 5, and little Lizzie was 2. And for those of you who are saying, we've done this problem before, pay attention to the uh, question here. What was the median of her children's ages? So we've done this problem before with uh, mode. Oh, not mode, I'm sorry. We've done this problem before with uh, mean and with average, but we haven't done it with median yet. So remember what the definition of median is. Just like when you're driving down the road, the median is in the middle of the road. That's how I think of a median, the middle of the road. Because what the median is, it's the centermost number in an ordered list. It's got to be an ordered list. Uh, or as I say in my class, you've got to build your road before you know where the center is. So the first thing we'll do is order the list. We'll build that road. So let's go ahead now. Some students say to me, Kate, should I go from um, like smallest number to largest or largest number to smallest? And I say it doesn't matter because the middle will be the same. Let me say that again. I don't care if you go from least to greatest or greatest to least because either way the middle will be the same. I'll go from least to greatest since that's what most students do. Um, let's see, we've got little Lizzie, that's the youngest child, she's two. Uh, the next youngest children are the twins who are five. Now careful, there's twins, so there's not just one five-year-old, there's two of them. Super important that I see two fives in your data set. Uh, Tina is eight. Billy's next in age, he's 11. And then we have the triplets who are 13. Once again, the triplets are 13. See how important it is to read every word in your word problems or you guys get tricked. There's triplets. There's three 13-year-olds. And so I see that 13 appearing three times in my list. Great. Now, I've been asked to find the middle or the center most number in this list. The, that's what it means to find the median. Um, so it starts off kind of easy to find the center. You know, you think you're okay. You'll take like one off the front, one off the back. One off the front, one off the back, one off the front, and one off the back. But we can see that this is actually a tricker, trickier median problem than most. Take a look. There's two numbers in the middle. And I told you that it wouldn't matter if we went from least to greatest or greatest to least. So we can't just randomly pick one of them. What we need is the centrist center number. We need the number that would be here if there was a number here. And so um, when you have two in the middle, I kind of think of this like a mini mean problem. We're going to find the number that would be directly between those by adding the two together and dividing by two. So just make a little note to yourself when two in the middle, it's a mini mean problem. I'm going to add together and divide by two. And now some people say to me, why aren't I dividing by eight? There were eight numbers. Yeah, but you're just finding the middle of those two, the two center ones. And so you're adding those two together, so you'll divide by two. So eight plus 11 is 19. And if I were to divide 19 by two, I would get 9.5 or nine and a half. And that should make sense to you that nine and a half would fall directly between eight and 11, halfway between them. So the median of this list, is 9.5. Great. If you have questions about this or any other GED topic, drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them.